hello friend welcome back in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how you can handle multiple types of different types of dynamic calendars like calendars which used to disappear automatically immediately when you are trying to inspect them and trying to automate them trying to generate the x path or selectors for them many of you have asked this question that prepare a video like where i can show you guys how you can handle them how you can inspect these kind of dynamic calendars like let me show you different types of calendars one is like when you click on the uh, calendar icon it used to open like this another one is it could be something like this on different websites like the uh, travel website you will always find the calendars when you have to test them like these so different kinds of calendars are there on different websites so how can you inspect them how you can uh, generate the uh, like selectors x path for them so this i will show you guys in this tutorial so please watch this this will be really helpful for you all to handle such kind of calendars and to understand the feature like what kinds of these calendars are and how you can automate them is it really complicated or it is really simple also like these kinds of calendars you might have seen on some of the like account creation websites where you have to create accounts so you find these kind of drop downs as well Okay, so let us start with uh, one uh, a few of these booking websites like travel booking website. So here you see that when you click on these calendars, you can uh, see that here you would be able to right click and here you can inspect them. In fact, like you can directly copy the X path from here itself if you want. Otherwise, like you just let's say inspect and you see that we were able to inspect that element or oh, let me just move on to this so you see that this is getting disappeared so this is a little challenge part here that we are not able to inspect this calendar because it is getting disappeared so when the calendar get disappeared how you can handle that in this case we will use the selector sub in uh, debugger feature so here let me just show you guys with the selector sub i'm uh, I'm using the pro version you can uh, do the same thing with the free version as well everything is available there so here you click on the dates let's say and suppose we want to inspect this 29th but when we are trying to click on this inspector or selectors of inspector that is getting disappearing disappeared right so how can we do that here you just click on the debugger button of the selectors up here click on this and make that calendar visible within five seconds and then you will find that selector sub has stopped this calendar and now we would be able to inspect this using the dev tools inspector and you see that here we are able to inspect this element so this is how you can inspect these dynamic calendars okay and here i'm using selector sub in dev tools whenever you have to use the debugger always prefer to use selector sub in the dev tools panel otherwise you can also use it here as well just by clicking on the logo it used to open so this is how you can inspect the uh, these kind of dynamic calendars which used to get disappear immediately one more example i sh i will show you like on this orange health if you try to click on this calendar and let's say we have to inspect this date you will find that this got immediately disappear so how can we inspect that here we can use the selector sub debugger very simple like you just click on the debugger icon here in selector sub and then click on this calendar icon you see that it will stop that uh, calendar here and now you would be able to inspect this any of these dates and you can see that x path is also generated for this particular date so you can copy this and use it in your script x path or any any selectors you can get whichever is required for your framework so this is how you can inspect any of these uh, dates from such kind of dynamic calendars which immediately get disappear when you are trying to inspect them okay i hope this is clear so i have showed you guys this selector sub here in the dev tools let me just show you guys how you can do it from the like if you are using selector sub by clicking on the logo just clicking on the logo here because most of the people now using it because this is more simple so uh, when you are clicking on this here it opens so if you have to use the debugger here you just what you have to do just keep it open the dev tools because whenever you need to use the debugger feature dev tools should be open 
and now we will uh, click on the debugger and open the calendar you will see that notice that within after five seconds it will stop this and now you can inspect any of these so this is how you can use it but it is always recommended that whenever you have to use the debugger feature use selector sub in the dev tools same thing you can do it in free version as well like you see that you open selector sub here and the debugger feature is here you open the dev tools and then click on debugger it will work okay so this is the one which get disappear when you try to inspect them now next one is uh, which is very simple like suppose this kind of uh, calendar these kind of soft calendar on i'm showing on goibo.com let me just keep it open this selectors up here and now suppose we want to inspect any of these dates so you can select the inspector and you see that these such kind of calendars are not getting disappeared like you can inspect them like if you want you can right click click on inspect and you can see that in the dev tools that is there just let me close it so you see that here the date you can see that these are the divs for that particular element so it is not getting disappear basically so you should be able to inspect any of these dates so this is like very straightforward if you let me just open selectors up here and you see that any of the date you will be able to inspect here so this here you need not to even use the debugger you can directly inspect the element and you can see the uh, like dom or get the selectors for them similarly like on make my trip also you will see that these uh, like you can right click any of the element and click on inspect and you will see that you will be able to inspect the element and the date if you open selectors up use this dev tools inspector inspect this and you see that you are able to inspect this and you are able to generate x path and selector for them so this goes easy when calendar is not disappearing that is simple okay so we have seen two types now one which was disappearing so we can use the debugger one which is not disappearing and is always there when you uh, and you are able to inspect them so the, in that case you can either uh, copy it from uh, selector sub tab or you can also right click and copy the value from here simple okay next one is which is little tricky which cannot be even uh, inspected by the debugger or by the dev tools this kind of calendar i'm showing on x uh, selectors of website practice page here the one if you see that here if we click the calendar get open and now if you try to right click on this any of these elements you would not be able to right click I'm not able to right click on this okay and if we open dev tools and try to inspect this so you see that we would not be able to inspect this calendar and now let us turn on the debugger and try with that click on the debugger and then make the uh, this appear this calendar within five seconds you see that that got disappeared so even with the debugger also you, we cannot inspect such kind of calendar why what is the region what is what's the type of this calendar these are the calendars which has been introduced on the page on the web page using the type attribute is equal to date here you can see in the dom if you notice this is input tag and there they have used type is equal to date just using the type is equal to date this becomes the calendar it's an inbuilt feature of HTML. Here they have not introduced this calendar separately through JavaScript or something. This is inbuilt feature. Like if if we make this type is equal to search, then this will not be calendar. Like here you see that this becomes the input box, like sort normal input box. If we make it as a password, then if you will type anything in this box, that will become like a strict kind of thing, like dot 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 so here this just become the calendar just by adding type is equal to date and that's the reason like we will not be able to inspect this because this is not part of the dom it doesn't have any html for these dates so how you can automate such kind of elements this is the tricky part so what we will have to do like it's a very simple i will show you guys how you can very easily automate or pass the value inside this enter the value inside this kind of input box just inspect that element here 
and you see that this is the x path for that particular input box now here we need the code so let me just because i cannot use this x path directly i need to write that driver dot find element so i don't want to type this let me just turn on the code here i got the command copy this paste it here and now here normally the way you used to enter the value inside any input box the same way we can do just use the send keys method here and what date you want to pass here let me just select let's say we want to pass today is 29 so we want to pass this now i will take the same value 29 slash 11 2023 okay then save it now let me execute this script in place of 10 second i will just make it one second just to show you guys and let's run this code and we will see that if it is able to enter the value inside that box so here you need not to in fact inspect that date particularly and write the x path for that date you can directly just uh, write the x path for that input box and use the send keys method to enter the date value inside such kind of calendars which we cannot inspect and uh, like which are basically introduced using the type is equal to date attribute because those cannot be inspected or cannot be like for those dates we cannot write the x path so here you see that the value has been entered so this is how you can handle the such kind of calendars which we are not able to inspect which we can't inspect and introduce using the type is equal to data okay so it's very simple just you have to use the normal uh, way write the x path find that element input element and then use the send case method enter the date okay cool so we have got this one as well so now here you can handle this you can handle this dynamic one which get disappear using the debugger you can handle which the one which you are able to directly inspect so there is nothing special same way uh, like if this is the one let me show you if you are able to right click on the dates and you are able to inspect that then you can directly use selectors up here get the x path and copy and use it simple if it will be inside iframe it will tell you everything so if you are able to inspect right click inspect then there is no problem right there is nothing special but if it is something like which you are not able to inspect or something like that then in that case there is a problem like if we can inspect this then in that case it will be easy for you the next one is this kind of drop downs where you have such drop downs so here let us inspect this again you see that we are not able to right click on this like let's say if i have to inspect this march right click we are not able to do that so let's see what is this what is special there so inspect this element and here you see that this box has been created using the slack tag okay so this is basically slack tag which can be automated using the select class of selenium i hope you all are aware about that so uh, here you see that select and under this select you will see the options so you create a object of select class then use the method like select any of the value from these options and here you can use the selector sub to get the x path of this particular element same goes for date like this is also a select drop down so this is on twitter website this is on uh, like let's say facebook if you are trying to create an account so here also you will see that this is a select tag so you can when you uh, like you would not be able to right click here on this you can right click on this and then you can open the dev tools and here you can see the select tag and uh, if you open selectors up you will get that if you directly open it here you can inspect and get the x path or the command and then you can automate this like if you want to show me let me just show you guys quickly here for this how you can automate it like for an example let me just comment out driver dot get this is the url we have opened and now here we want to enter the value inside this uh, we want to select the value for this okay so let's say for month i will show you guys so here we inspect this month 
just let me refresh so that it will be very clear so first we have to it will open this so first we need to click on this create account so let me just copy this command and here it used to show this dynamic one so i need to create a x path without class so let us create without class here So now we will use this and here we need the driver dot find element dot click then after clicking on this we can get this element so here we will inspect this month element so with that we will get the uh, with this we should be able to get the selector for this one so let me get this and here we need to create the select class because that is a one we are going to use select is equal to new select and here we need to pass that particular element of the box so this is there we go and here we can select dot now we want to select by value let's say we want to select by value so here we can pass the value whichever value you want to select so just click here let's say march we want to select so we will type march here and let us run this so what it will do first it will open this page twitter one sign up then it will click on create account then it will uh, we are creating an object of select class for that particular element and then we are passing this value we are selecting that value let us see what will happen let me run the code so here it has opened this i hope it will not open the direct sign up page it will open the same one where it will ask to click on create okay it has taken some time and meanwhile i'll our script got failed because that particular element create account was taking time to appear so let me just close and put some wait time here we will add some let's say 10 second of wait so this is where the automation script always has a challenge like ui automation we have to synchronize our script put our script in a sync with those elements like how much time it will take to appear so now this time it should work so we have enough time it will look for that element so you see that it has clicked and now it didn't select it that much okay so let us see why it has got failed cannot locate option with value march select by value okay so yeah one more thing we need to see here when we say select by value so here okay so here they have the value as one two three so if we want to select option march then we have to pass the value three so this also we need to take care so good that we got this issue so if we want to select march by value then we will ha have to pass three if we want to select using the march text then in that case we will have to pass the uh, text i guess that i that also i will show you guys so here again it is executing the script okay good while like teaching or creating such tutorial we are getting these many errors so we are learning through that and multiple scenarios basically we are able to cover because for sure like when you will be trying there will be lots of issues so if i will show you guys the working one that will not be good so here you can see that it has entered the value march now suppose we want to use some other method in place of like let's say value one or oh, sorry value we have seen and if you want to try with the one earlier we were using this march so march is the text so here there's an option in select class like let's say select dot select by value and select by index and select by visible text so if we are pass this select by visible text then we can use that particular text 
so let's say we want to select april now so here you see that april yes correct now let us see first it will select march by value then it should select visible text april so value will change let us see we will put some weight as well here so that we can observe that value let's say three seconds Let me stop this, execute it again. Now here, page is loading, okay. Good that we have put that wait time. Okay, now it will click on create account it will go and select March then we have three second wait now it will select April April so it has selected that so this is how you can uh, handle such kind of calendar which has the which has been basically created using the select class so we have seen pretty much all kinds of calendar so now uh, I hope like you will never face any challenge to automate any kind of calendar whether that has been created using the type attribute whether they, uh, those are the dynamic one which get disappear or immediately so the one which get immediately disappear there you can use the debugger selectors of debugger you can use if they are created using the type is equal to date attribute and you are not able to inspect them in that case you can use directly send keys method if you are able to inspect directly then there is no challenge i hope you found this tutorial useful please do practice about them all of them you can see whichever url i have used here on this web page like this was open source the orange one orange website then selectorsub.com redbus i have shown guaibo.com and uh, the twitter one and uh, lots of other website i have showed you guys so you can see in the url whichever i have used and do practice and I'm, I'm sure like you will like them and you will uh, save some time and you would be able to automate all kinds of calendar going forward mm -hmm. if you have any comment any scenario which you are not able to uh, automate then do let us know in the comment section also you can always reach out to us on the selectors of website live chat we will be more than happy to help you thank you thank you so much please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on Selector Sub channel. Thank you.